come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. It comes at you every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. Because we're on a quest to take over the world, or at least possess them with our green, glowing alien eye laser. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I love a good eye laser. Yep. And then we go, pew, pew, pew. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, These are the Internet Radio Superstars. Holly. Michaela. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight almost said someone else's name again. (laughs) What? Which one? I think I was going Michaela this time. I don't know why. (laughs) You're just going through the order in your head. And I'm going with all. It's like saying the lines to a movie as people are going. No, it's that scene in this movie where she was like, we're going to be fine. The other one's like, we're going to be fine. And then she just says everything she's going to say. Yep, exactly. Same thing. It's very odd. But I can't wait until it happens again. Yes. Uh, tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by Jonathan. What did we watch tonight? Uh, we watched uh, full government name Jonathan. Jonathan, <laughs> yes, yeah. his Christian name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan Louise Tyler. Uh, we watched 1991's. There's nothing out there. Not even the 90, truth, Colin. I'm sorry, 91? 91. 91? No way. No. It feels like it's no. an 80s. 81. Right, I would have thought 81. Oh, shot in 89. There we okay. Go. Okay. It took them a few years somewhere. to get theatrical distribution. Okay. But it had theatrical distribution. It did. It took From, them three wow. years to By get who? it. But they got it. Wow. That's a good question. Was it trauma? No. Oh, well. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's trauma because people keep saying. Okay. So the the trailer that I watched had the, the trauma thing. logo all over it, but the movie that we watched uh, was a version from Code Red or Vinegar Syndrome, and it did not. So yeah, and no, no trauma stuff at the beginning. No, if not, if it wasn't made specifically for trauma, if okay. nothing, if it was a pickup. Yeah, if anything, they picked it up and distributed it for. I'm guessing a short time because Image Entertainment still owns the rights to it. Oh, okay. I didn't see anything on the front no. of this, but they're the ones who acquired it, and I was reading today that they still have something to do with it. So, and if you miss this movie and you listen to our episode and you're like, I'm gonna go buy the Blu-ray of it, you're gonna <laughs> no, be you're out. Not. How much? Uh, well, at least fifty bucks on eBay and hundred and ten on Amazon. Damn Good it. gravy. Damn it! Maybe, but maybe Sean, like, what bonus features does this come with, though? Uh, it comes with a buy. short film called Mood Boobs <laughs> and a behind the scenes of Mood Boobs, and that's just one of a few. I hope it's. Oh, they should have just called it Behind the Boobs, right? <laughs> <laughs> like like behind the scenes? No, behind. Who wouldn't want to be behind the boobs? <laughs> well, I assume that means that Mood Boobs was shot by the same director as this film. Yes. Who was. Uh, Rolf Konefsky. And Rolf, now you gave us a little interesting tidbit while we were watching the movie. Mm -hmm. How old was Mr. Konefsky when he made this film? Rolf was 20 when he made this movie. He wrote this script when he was, I believe, a senior in high school. And everyone in this movie is old enough to be his parent. Yeah. Every person. Or his like guidance counselor. They got that. Yeah. They got that look to him. (laughs) (laughs) At least if nothing else. Well, I mean, he has a, a cast of uh, willing uh, young people. Uh, who young, does. Colin, young. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, relatively. Mid, midlife. Yeah. Okay. Who a little, are, look a little rough. Uh, but willing, they are not high school, school yeah, students like we're told. high school people. Yeah. yeah. Let's say that. Um, but Rolf Kines- uh, Kineski, after this movie, kind of developed a certain type of film. He's got a pedigree of sorts. Would you like to know some of the movies he's written? I, really I would. would. Yeah. I think you would. Everyone yeah. leans forward. Uh, yes, no. literally. Right, so directed, because he's still directing today. Get out. Uh, he is. He's, he was born in 1969. Okay. So he's not. So you you had to verify he definitely wasn't dead because you were worried you were talking. Uh, yes, I did. I'm, I, I don't think I'm going to make that mistake yeah. anymore unless it just randomly comes up on here. But yes, I did make we sure. We love you, was, Ernesto. Yeah. He, Ernesto. I respect you, Ernesto. Please don't kill me. Uh, all right. So directed uh, The Mirror Witch in 2020. I'm going to go from that. Uh, Wait, who, he's still making movies as of 2020? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. He's still making. Yeah, he's still writing movies wow. today. Wow. Okay, everything. good he's for him. Written, a lot of movies. Mm, okay. He goes into, well, I'll give you this. Uh, just a short selection of what he's directed. The Mirror Witch, Pool Boy Nightmare, uh, Emmanuel Through Time, Emmanuel ah, Sexy Bite. There it is. Oh, yep. man. There are at least five Emmanuel movies man. that are very sexy. We got to bring the original series of Emmanuel yes, at some point. Was, he was involved with that as well. No, yes. the original series? No. Uh, in like, yes, because it's different from these. He's I, His credit's on there from like 1990-something. No, they were like the 70s. 70s? Okay, yeah. maybe there's... 
There's a whole bunch there's of there's a man- whole bunch. Of, okay. Yeah, because well, eventually he, there's not, Emmanuel in not space. Not the Emmanuel that you grew up with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, then he jumped onto the later versions there's of it. Emmanuel with one L and Emmanuel with two L. This is They're two like, L's, okay. I believe. <laughs> and there's Black Emmanuel. Uh, yeah. No, this is one L. Okay. Um, the erotic misadventures of the Invisible Man. Okay. Which you know is probably not. As tasteful as it sounds, I'm going to guess. Uh, See, that's not fair. The man's invisible. Well, right. But, I mean, what, what did yeah, we... Yeah, what? you know that's what? Yeah. That's not fair. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it took me a second, but I was like, yeah, you know what? I was oh, like, you're on board. Get on board. Get yes. on board. <laughs> I was going to say, Chris, what you guys feel about Hollow Man, you should yeah. be not oh, on board oh, On board with it. I was just going to say, this sounds like that shitty joke in Hollow Man about the fucking invisible man and Batman or Superman and Wonder Woman fucking on top of the oh, tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That terrible joke they told I remember that. that. Yeah. God, um, I wish I forget, could forget that. He also did a movie called You Only Live Until You Die. Mm, uh, with, uh, I mean, that's a fact. With, <laughs> with Rod Steele in 1996. <laughs> so it was a Bond erotic adventure. Yeah. Uh, as far as what he's written, uh, lately, in 2022, Battle for Pandora. So he's, <laughs> oh, he's in Asylum movies. Okay, yeah. Making those. Yeah. Uh, also, Dolphin Island from 2021, oh. which I think we've mentioned on this show before. <laughs> I don't know why. We, we mentioned Dolphin Story. Maybe Dolphin Story. Yeah, dolphin Tail? Dolphin Tail. <laughs> there it is. Thank you, Holly. Uh, so he did the, okay. off, the and, offering. And probably my favorite... Uh, Adventures into the Woods, a sexy musical. <laughs> oh yes, oh, yes. So yes. this guy, he's like a Jim Wynorski. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's okay. Yeah, it, yeah. He has that pedigree as well. Oh, he wrote a movie, a TV movie called The Wrong Babysitter that looks. He pretty wrote. There's good. a lot of TV oh. for yes, a lifetime. A lot of TV. Oh yeah, movies. Daphne Zuniga's in this. <laughs> oh, Holy shit! Okay, he, well, if I'm you look York through his this. stuff, you're gonna find something like oh, <laughs> if nothing yeah. else by title, so it's gonna be interesting. What you're saying is he's got something for everyone. Something yeah. for everyone, including kids. He's got there's tons of kids movies on there. I'm sure there's a buddy yeah. movie on there. There's I'm a pretty ton sure. Of kids movies. Amazing. Lots of kids yeah. movies, and that's with the writing mostly because when you're not writing, you know, amazing. He's a family. Good for him. I mean, that's actually. Like okay, so he got a, some type of career. He's making a living at. It. This yeah. was his first movie. You're first saying. movie. His parents okay. mortgaged their house to help Aww. pay for it. I know, Aww. right? That's so sweet. Which I think the Victor, the Victor might be his dad, <laughs> the Victor Konevsky, because he's oh, a producer, the producer. And editor. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. That was right. his dad. I, I, it might have been I because didn't. honestly, when we saw the name, I was like, I bet that's his really supportive dad. Oh, and yeah. I, again, oh, I love that. So yeah. I love that. So that's what we're talking about. So this movie we, is we, like this, we a, enjoy the 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 uh, the beautifulness of independent filmmaking. Today, yes. Colin is what okay. we saw. Yeah, because I mean, it's not like a, a, a super professional movie. So that's what kind of what we're no, getting but into. It's more, it's got more flourish than you think it would. Yeah. Yeah, and there's definitely it's like a really good student movie. Yes, yeah, yeah like a really like, good student. It, you movie. Might, you yeah. would watch this and be like, this guy shows promise. Yeah, yeah. yeah I real. did think that yeah. watching it, it was like, wow, he's doing a lot of stuff. I mean, like, there's a lot of energy in this movie. Yes. Um, and he's uh, trying a lot of right. things. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's yeah. like, we we can do anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, we can have transitions between a, a a heated shower and pasta. Yes, <laughs> a transition between two boobs. Yes, uh, yes, two a, sets a pair of, of boobs. boobs into another pair, pair of, of boobs. boobs. Genius. Yep. That yep. was great. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, one girl's taking her her top off or unbuttoning her uh her i bra. think swimsuit yeah. right and we zoom in and then it cuts to another a girl different in a girls. different place also like, getting naked that's genius um there were, yeah there was a lot of like interesting transitions like the entire way through this movie um what would, how much does it cost to make something like this three hundred fifty thousand dollars I mean, it shows, but yeah. still, you know, they got their mileage out of that. They money, did. Though. I yeah. think they got everything out yeah. of it. And there's a lot of. I mean, it's 1991, and he's 20 years old. And uh, I mean, it feels like we have to mention Sam Raimi was 23. I want to mm-hmm. say when he made The Evil Dead. I believe so. Yeah. And there's a lot I felt of inspiration from Evil Dead. Yes. Here. Right, feels I mean, like in it, the yeah. camera work, yeah. uh, and even the setting, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Which there's a pretty good joke about the setting of this movie. The uh, is this the the cabin by the lake? No, this is the, the house by the pond. Yes, by the pond. Uh, <laughs> and, then, and then yeah, because there's a whole group. Well, I mean, there yeah. we well, well, let's, well, okay. Let's, we should get into we, it. Yeah, yeah. Do we know if this was his the director's actual? parents vacation house because i feel like it was i'm gonna guess yeah. as part of like it being easier i don't know for sure but it okay. does feel like somebody within this group owned like, this, this house had to have been their actual yeah because they house. destroy parts of it i mean they're they throwing really shit do. through windows and i mean you can replace them with you know uh sure i mean if you have candy a, glass somewhat but, of a budget then yeah um and there is a lot of uh, the cutting between 
somebody going to break a window and the window being broken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so but they a- have they have stunt guys. They destroy <laughs> they automobiles. At least they, two of them with, with uh, like we said, with energy. Like there's vehicles flying in the air at the beginning of this movie. So there is. Some, there is professionalism behind it. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. Otherwise, people are just dying left yeah, and right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. This movie made me worried for actors and stuntmen, too. Just because you know how, like, low budget, mm-hmm. sure. uh, non-union this is, you yeah. know? Yeah. It felt like, pretty okay, though. There wasn't anything like we've seen before. I'm yeah. just like, oh, that guy died. Yeah. Right. He's dead. Yeah, this none of that. This was, like, blatant, you know, like, I think in the beginning, there's a woman who is driving a car and goes off the road and slams into a tree. And you can see in the cutaway that it's clearly like a guy, a guy with a, a helmet. helmet. Yeah. So then yeah. you're like, okay, you go down to the speedway, right? And you find some guy who's, who's willing to <laughs> ramp a car into the yeah. woods. I, yeah, I yeah. guess my concern more comes from how much time they spend in brackish water in this movie. Oh, and I yeah, don't yeah, like yeah, brackish yeah. water. Again, and like, I'm surprised. Yeah. And it's against everything that you want to be. I know. I, know, I don't but understand. Like, I don't. <laughs> There's we, definitely you need, you like need, uh, emergence in water. therapy. Yeah, for your I, water. I do. Yeah. Well, before you came over, I was talking about how I'm afraid of other feral humans. Now we She's, had a whole conversation. Yeah. Oh about my god! It. And we'll have to get back. Into okay, it I think now, you need but, to rethink your future. Yeah. I well, I want to be like a solo feral person. I don't want to be part of you their community. Join no, 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 no. I don't. But like, that makes sense. Th- there, best case scenario, there's leeches in this water. Yeah, like, there's, there's definitely, yeah. the there's pond. definitely parasites. There's definitely like probably, snapping turtles, probably and stuff. eels. Eel, yeah. yeah, it has okay. a, yeah. a film of algae yes, and it's uh, like, a pond scum. On I know top of it, it wouldn't help, but I'd keep my bathing suit on. Yeah, yeah, Again, yeah. I know it wouldn't help. No but skinny. Hey, I saw that River Monsters episode with that thing that swam up the guy's urethra. <laughs> so I, I recommend you keep your trunks on. I guess that's what the netting is. Yeah, hopefully it can't fit through the netting. My brother got a parasite from tubing in the kish. Ooh, uh, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, yeah. knowing the kids, that doesn't surprise me. But, mm-hmm. but that's, I mean, yeah, but we are probably the last era of people who grew up swimming in lakes. I would say so. We're, I think, inoculated from now yeah. until forever. Because <laughs> who knew what was in the shit we were swimming in as kids? That, that's but, true. Well, this is also a movie that's made by someone who is a massive horror movie fan, and yes. then does all this fan service for horror movies. So the movie starts out in a video store. Woo! Love it. Cold Love open it. in a video store. Cold open in a video store. Lots of box art everywhere. Those it's heavy just, plastic cases, John, yeah. your point out. Yeah, that was... I can s- hear them opening right yep. now. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, that's I what could- I want. I want a 21-tape salute at my funeral. <laughs> 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 Sean, our fingers will be so blistered. Yes, and you will remember me forever. Yes. For those <laughs> we'll be cursing you. And then, or you'll get that one where you can get the one side of it open, but you can't get the other side, and it kind of clams back. Yes. And that's when you really and you're pinch like, your fingers. Why won't this yes. one open? Yes. I can just see where something like... One that snaps off. Sean, and then, yeah, yeah, then you break it, you're like, yes. like they're going to charge me for yep. this it's plastic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I could just see, like... A couple of the t- of the of the snappings go well, and then it gets to me, and I'm like, oh, fuck, fuck, Sean, this is all Sean wanted at his funeral, and I fucked You're just it up. throwing shit at the yeah. coffin. You're just like, fuck you, Sean. <laughs> Twenty one case salute. Yep. <laughs> no, we'll just do that America's Funniest Home Videos <laughs> video from like the '89 where they stacked up all the cases like dominoes and then knocked them down through the whole uh, video store. We'll okay. do that instead. Okay, okay, that. But the last tape hits my coffin, and then that goes it. into the grave. Yes. <laughs> yes, and the last tape has to be a sequel. Yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> the last tape is Scream Two. Yep. Okay, yeah. The yes, last yes, tape yeah. is a VHS sure. of Scream Two. It just knocks it knocks the lid down on your casket, and then, and then pushes it down yes. into the. All right, we have this planned. Is committed. I, yes. you know I wanted to be. Now, yeah. I wanted to be cremated before. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. Not, well, this I mean, is what I want. We could get a little baby coffin for your ashes. All right, I like this. <laughs> Sean, some of, some of we'll make answers. the little baby coffin look like a VHS player, like a VCR. We'll make it look like a little I mean, VCR. I'm, all f- I'm, yeah. I'm dead. Oh my Go God. for yeah. it. I love it. All right. Well, I hope you appreciate me, this in the afterlife. Make my ashes into a tape. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Put it in a VCR and drop that shit into the yep. ground. Oh <laughs> yes. We're that's gonna have to. Yeah. We're gonna have to have popcorn. After that's what, yeah, that's yeah. the send off I want. Yeah. Play, put something. Play me instead of play throw- me at my funeral. <laughs> put a movie on there and play me instead of throwing fistfuls of dirt. We'll just throw fistfuls of popcorn, popcorn. on too. Yeah. <laughs> you come back uh, six months later. The raccoon. Just <laughs> yes. Me. Everything. <laughs> the, the, Don't they cover the that tape. though with the dirt? To yeah. Keep the- yeah. The tape. The tape is all pulled out of your VHS <laughs> tape and strewn all over the cemetery. It's just my life. Yep. That's the raccoons did. They <laughs> this is wonderful. I love that we got to this. Yeah. There you go. All right. I mean, well, she I was worried does, about my future. No longer. This lady in the video store does get attacked by the literal tape inside the plastic case. She does like, indeed. Yeah, tape. she gets she wrapped up, up in it. Yeah. 
Well, uh, some guy comes into the store, goes right to the horror section, throws a Fangoria weekend of horrors tape at the counter. She's like, where'd it come from? It just drops out of the sky. And then, yes, she's attacked by yards of unwrapped VHS tape, tape which yeah. she runs out into the, uh, the, the, the back. It's back like alley. the back alley in the door. But then even then he's doing this weird camera stuff to like try and like uh, punch up the, the tempo of the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because when she's getting attacked, she's backing. She's on the floor backing away into a corner. So she's and tapes are just falling onto her. So you see box art everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> all of his favorite movies like Evil yeah. Dead and uh, Grizzly. I saw Grizzly in there mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. Hell Knight. Hell yeah, Hell Knight was in there. Yep. Turns out this has nothing to do with the movie. Nope, nothing nope. at all to nope. do with the movie. I she wakes thought, up because it's a dream. I honestly thought when she fell off the thing, she was going to get hung. Yeah. by the tape. I know. That's but, what I yeah. thought too. I yeah. think that's what they were. And I was like, for. is this a supernatural movie? Is it a slasher movie? His uh, director, Rolf, uh, his. Uh, yeah. His movie is playing on the screens of yes. the video store. We noticed because just every, listen, I think it's called. Yes, yeah, because every amateur filmmaker has that super eight millimeter slasher movie that they uh, they made. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it turns out this is all a dream sequence, and the woman wakes up driving a car and flings it into the woods and crashes into a tree. But it turns out that she has landed right next to where an alien from outer space. Uh, drops to earth. <laughs> and I definitely thought this movie was going to be a slasher going into A falling it. cloud! A falling <laughs> cloud. She literally says that to herself. I don't know who this and woman is. <laughs> I don't know what a falling cloud is. I don't know either. Like, no. I think uh, uh, that's fog. That's yeah, fog. yeah, that's, I mean, technically, <laughs> yes, I yeah, she meant fog. something like, maybe it's like a meteor. <laughs> a shooting star, maybe, falling that's star, what I was going space with. junk. She's, yeah. sure. she's, she's an idiot. Gets, yeah, she gets, <laughs> she's yeah idiot. that's what yeah. they're setting up. But she gets attacked by tentacled things, which kind of, I think you said, look like a extended, Ov- oven, extended oven mitts. It's like oven mitts. I'm like, oh, we could sew an extended, like, they got oven mitts, a sleeve of a coat, sewed yeah. them together, yeah. muddied yeah. them up, and we're just like, <laughs> it's That's brilliant exactly it's that. it's a high energy opening i guess to yeah. the movie you know you're sitting there and you're like well okay i'm not bored already right and then we cut to class in uh high school where all these bored kids are getting ready for summer vacation this is a comedy i mean yes it's a, a horror comedy yeah okay it's intentional comedy there's a it's, lot yes, of it is yeah. an intentional yeah. comedy some of it lands some of it doesn't but it's got a very goofy tone to it um yes. and so we're introduced to our main characters which are i don't know a couple pairs of uh guys and girls who are gonna go off to a house by a pond yep we get mike weekend. and we get mike doreen there's a stacy i think there's a jim I, think I don't I remember like anybody's were, names beyond I like that you were keeping track yeah. of this. I mean, at a certain point, they said somebody's name. Steve, enough. I think there's a Steve. There might be a Steve. Hold on. I'll, I'll <laughs> who's the <laughs> name of the kid who's? It's his parents' house. I think that's Steve. Is that Steve? Yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on. We have a uh, we have a Mike. We have a Doreen. We do have a Jim. Okay. Uh, Stacy, Nick, who's the guy whose ha- whose parents' Nick, house okay, it is. Okay, Nick. Yeah. Um, Janet, David, Sally Foster. Who's the, Sally was the girl in the car. Yeah, yeah. the girl at the beginning. The seller name. Yeah. Is Sally is a school teacher. And then we get into the punks, but we'll get to them. We'll get to them. Okay. Well, they show. Okay. So all the kids head off Evil Dead style into the. Okay, but they are in in school first. Yeah. And it's going to be spring break. Yeah. So these people are with a bunch of other 35 year olds. Yes. We see this scene of them in school. They're elder uh, uh, older students for sure. They've been held back. They're super super seniors. They're the elder statesmen of the super seniors. Did you guys ever have a super senior? No, it sounds familiar. (laughs) Someone who who didn't pass and get be a fifth year in high school. Yeah, we we called them super seniors (laughs) because they were usually like nineteen. 18 well, yeah. or 19, yeah. They were usually legal adults, and it was very noticeable that they were super seniors. You sure. Know? I like how you can, it can be derogatory or positive. Uh, depending uh, on uh, saying. Uh, it's, it's like, yeah, because if you're the person who's being called a super senior, it sounds pretty cool until you realize what it means. Yeah. Right. Until yeah, so someone explains yeah. to you what it is, yeah. you're like, oh. No. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, they pass by this uh, crash scene on their way out to the cabin. So, Mike who becomes like one of the dominant personalities of the movie yes. determines, Hey, we should all turn around and go home because I have seen enough horror movies to know that this is a bad omen. This okay. Is a warning. But this is the thing. His character is going to be like the entire way through the movie, the most annoying horror fan who has ever existed. Truly. But is he right? Because he's telling he lives and he's telling everybody, like, uh, you know, this is, you're going to go off, there's something. There's either, uh, like, a crazy madman or an alien or something he out maps, there. He maps it all out. He, he's just like, this is what's going to happen. Yeah. You guys are idiots. 
and they the Randy uh, of his time. Of course, I was gonna don't say, listen. Yes. yes, this was done better later on when Randy was born. Yes, sure. Yeah. And yeah. I hate to say it, guys, but as annoying as this character is, I think this is what our podcast sounds like to people who don't like us. Probably, Pro- you know. I yes. think th- I was like because some of the things he was saying, I was like, I've definitely said similar. Oh yeah, the podcast. No, <laughs> no, yeah, no. I I agree. Yeah. I'm just like, well. He's a little annoying, but I identify with him. Uh, okay, yeah, I was like, damn it, I hate that I identify with this <laughs> right. character. But also, you would not be this character on vacation. Uh, yeah, know, yeah. Right, we know when to stop. I yes. yeah. Like, we're here for that. Yeah, yeah. but we punch out good. of this. Like, we, right, this We've never not... found ourselves in a horror movie God situation. Damn it. Well, we know what Sean's role would be. <laughs> I'd die, apparently. Yeah, you'd be the first one to investigate, because your curiosity would kill you. Yes. <sighs> No, I pretty much punch out of this mindset when I leave this space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. No, I kind of live in this a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, not to an annoying level. I, I know, but I, I was like, what, I don't... what we mean is we're not constantly verbalizing it the way this guy is. Like, right. um, yeah, like, yeah. Or, he, I think just, I used to when I was younger. I've snapped out of it, but I'm pretty was, sure there was. That's yeah. interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a horrible. Colin, person. I'm sure went through. <laughs> 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 I lived and breathed the horror movies. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I guess that was why I was sitting there going like, yeah. okay, so the guy who wrote this is clearly, and he puts him in a heroic position, right? He's yeah. like, this is for horror fans. Um, yes. so yeah, not too long after this, the, their idyllic, uh, tranquil existences, they're all getting settled into this, uh, house is disrupted by the arrival of a bunch of punks. Punks. How do punks show up? 80s in a van? Street toughs. 80 street mm-hmm. toughs. Coming Arf. in in a van full of smoke. But yeah. I love that even out in the country, you can't escape 80 street toughs. They'll find right. you. Yeah. They'll find you no matter what. They're, they're going to come rough you up a little bit no matter where you go. Well, yeah. it was just because you're thinking that's what's going to happen, right? Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. oh no, the city interlopers are here. They all pile out of the back of this van. Yes, yes they even all come out the hatch. The yep. driver and the passenger apparently do too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they're like, okay, it's time to skinny dip. And you're like, all right, that's where we're at with yep. this movie. Mm-hmm. And so they all strip down and get in the water. Most of them. <laughs> and... Yep. This is like, this is the pond. So this is where we hear the line. Like, no, this isn't the cabin by the lake. This is the house by the pond. No, this is the house by the pond. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, we'll get out of your hair. And then they leave the movie, yes. which I thought was hilarious. Yeah, they're actually very polite. Yeah. <laughs> very polite. Beautiful. It's it's a wonderful moment. They, yeah. the, I mean, the producer, the, uh, the director thought it was like, it's, we have a gap here and there's not enough nudity or any mm-hmm. like, so we're going to bring these people in just for this scene. Yeah. And then that's it. And they're gone. I really I, like the lesson here of don't judge people based on how they look. You know? Right, these were nice people. Yeah, they were polite. They All left their yeah. they, they, were, they were literally like, our mistake, we'll get out of your hair. Yep. Yeah, like, give us a minute. Yeah. We'll leave. And, you know, I think there was a little too much judgment on these people from the char- other characters in this movie. Like, enjoy the show for a little bit. Don't be so angry about these people skinny dipping in your pool. Uh, I don't know. If strangers show up on my property and are naked in my pool, I'm yeah, that would a be, problem yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, 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 I'd have a problem with that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at a certain point, I would, yes. But I like that you say the director thought there was a little bit of time when there wasn't enough nudity yes. going on in the movie. Yeah. This is boobs the movie. It is. It's, it's not mood it's boobs. boobs. It's mood not, it's boobs. Not mood boobs, but it is. Well, okay. So it's, it's either boobs or bikinis, one. and people are having yeah. a hard time staying in. They're bikinis. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the first, I think, like right after that scene, we're treated to the world's longest gratuitous uh, uh, shower, shower scene. Shower scene without no nudity. nudity. No, yeah. Just, well, this is... Considering she's nude for most of the no, rest of the movie. She, no, there's, there's no, nudity. don't see anything. I think, yeah, there's no, Not I, there the was first... no, I, all right, there's no nipple. Okay, no nipple Maybe and no bush. Maybe crack a yeah. little bit. Yeah, but, but like, like nothing. But considering how much boobs we just saw in the previous scene, it's weird to cut to a shower yeah. scene it's weird and to cut show to a everything. Music video shower yeah. scene because mm-hmm. it's the eighties. And yeah. we're doing it, and to be like, oh, she's washing her hair. Yep. For a long time with yeah. a lot of yeah, shampoo, which you don't normally don't see that we, in Right. Movies. We literally watched the entire showering process. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Soaping up every limb, like we see all of it. Yep. Yep. And then, and then she then goes. She's then goes back. Well, she seduces well, she her boyfriend. Yeah. She scares her boyfriend and yes. seduces him at this point. Yeah. yeah. Was back it, in the shower. Didn't they say, like, only... Was it Doreen? Is that her name? Yep, Doreen. Yep. Only yeah. Doreen would take a shower before dinner. Yeah, they like, act like that's so weird. I was and like, I'm like, why is that weird? Right, wouldn't you want to be, like... You guys were just on top for... of each other in a car for yeah. how many hours? Like, like, I don't know how many movies I've seen where they're like, I'm going to freshen up before dinner. Yeah. Well, I think you should at least wash your hands. I mean, I think that's, like, the before dinner. That's what you do. Yeah. So, yeah. No you can inappro- wash your whole self. There is right. no inappropriate time of the day to shower. You can I always agree. shower. Yeah, always. I'm never going to be mad at someone for showering. Yes. Never. never, never. Like you yes. know, it's. I'd rather you shower sorry, too Colin, much than this not enough. For too long. Yeah. It's okay to shower whenever. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Multiple times a day, I'm hoping. That's yes. Insane. You got to shower when you get up, and then you, you shower, shower any time after shower that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shower okay. whenever you want. If, yeah. you, if you need a shower, shower. Well, as a work from home person, sometimes I take a midday shower at lunch, and it's really nice. I've, that is really <laughs> it nice. Is really nice. Yeah. Me and one of my boss have a running joke about the four thirty shower. Yeah, yeah. Because like <laughs> your work like, day's ending, and then your real life is starting. Right. So it's you like, want to oh, be I fresh for your real life. Ready yeah. for the rest of the world. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, a thing. Yeah, it is a thing. Work from home has changed my showering schedule dramatically. It, but indeed yeah. it has. Mm-hmm. But it turns out there is an alien presence. What? Yeah. We saw a green meteor come down before the the uh, a falling what you call it? a falling falling cloud, cloud. Mm-hmm. yeah falling cloud was a green meteor so what do we got here what is our little alien up to who is it what is it what does it do it's like a frog tadpole combination yeah it's like a tadpole Scorp- like but a like big... crab arms it's got longer arms yeah they, yeah. yeah yeah to me it did they they keep referring to it as the green slimy thing and the green slime and we watched a movie called the green slime where this looks like. Okay. We watched you know, a fantastic movie. A fantastic movie called, called the, the Green Slime. Well, I can song. listen to that episode. It kind of looks like the Green Slime, like, like so, a smaller I mean, it's a version. It's a very smaller version, but yes. yeah. So it's a little puppet, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's on screen like quite a bit. It started off where they wouldn't show it a lot, but then they're just like, fuck it. Yeah. Well, there was one scene where it was attacking a character, and I'm like, you know, it had grabbed somebody from behind. I think this is the first victim, right? Mm-hmm. When they go down to Skinny Dip again at night. Uh, even though they're being warned by Mike, like, what are you crazy? You go out there and you're never coming back. Yes. They go out, go skinny dipping, and uh, a and bear. The, the thing what? is, <laughs> is there a bear? Who, is there bears? Doreen is uh, Doreen. Uh, yeah, terrified of, of bears. Apparently. Doreen's terrified of everything. But I thought sharks. They were, they were doing. They were doing a uh, like a basket case kind of, you know, because I mean that guy was a little oh, rubber yeah. oh, monster, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what they're going for here. I don't think this one is, is as successful as basket case i mean but the tone is different what you want it to do yeah, exactly is the tone the it. tone of basket case though is kind of uh mm-hmm. you know it's mm-hmm. kind of like a uh, mm-hmm. there is oh well there's obviously humor to it but I, that one feels oh jesus that one feels a little more serious quote unquote <laughs> yeah. a little a little more um threatening let's put it that okay. way without gotcha. it being yeah, yeah. a little a little more screamy have you guys seen mm-hmm. basket case yeah yeah. Where it just yells yeah. it, Belial yes. yells it. I, th- I think it's ah! that's Belial. <laughs> I think it's my least favorite of the Holy Hen and Ladder, Ladder trilogy. I think of the, of uh, we've talked about this. Um, Frankenhooker yep. and, and brain, brain damage. damage. Yeah, and then and basket yeah, Basket Case. case. Yeah. I think Basket Case is my least favorite out of those three. I'd but, agree with that. Yeah. Oh really? I'd go Brain Damage, but. Really? I Sean? love Brain Damage. I like uh, Brain Damage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, the Armor? Uh, yeah. Armor? Oh, yeah. uh, I like uh, yeah. Armor. <laughs> Where they're in the bathroom, he's like, woo! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he's like, he's tripping every time he juices his brain. That's, yeah. that's just, a, you want my juice, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> I know you do. What yes. do you do? I, I can wait here all day, Brian. Yeah. Man, you don't was, want my juice. Now i got to rewatch Brain Damage. I, mean, I know, right? Uh, I can't get that over was that. That so hard. Yeah. Yeah, so I think Basket Case is just like by default on the bottom. Frankenhook is a fucking masterpiece. It really is. It really is. Really is. If I said I hadn't seen uh, Frank and Hooker, oh, were you not man, here you for the Frank? No, he missed it. I wasn't here for it. I don't it was think my I've seen oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. Seen we gotta have a night where we watch Frank and Hooker. It's so good. Yeah, you gotta see Frank. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I'm up for it. You would love it. I mean, probably based on everything else. Yeah. Um. So the little guy is running around, leaving a green slime everywhere he goes, and attacking random. Or random. He's attacking the cast, <laughs> right? Yeah. But the the director or the cinematographer director of photography is doing these really weird things. Like they have a crane at some point. They're doing they do. crazy shots. The coverage of the car driving to the place is covered from like sixteen different right. Angles. And we get a great shot of. I mean, the car drives away, and then the crane goes up into the trees, and it's doing a circle. And we're like, oh, it's, it's not just spinning. Though. It's like moving too. It, yeah. It's like yeah. on a, I'm like, wow. It's what like are we raising doing and here? spinning at the same time. Yeah. 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 And we're like, oh, it's gonna if it does a thing where it turns from this point and then turns and the car shows up at the house i'm like wow yeah. that's more than i thought i'd but get out basically of they do do that there's yeah. a dissolve in there but yeah. that's, a little one yeah but Man, they, we know what they wanted to do yeah yeah the camera's moving around a lot it is it's not doing uh because i remember i think we were, when we watched intruder um that which was produced i think by sam raimi but yes. that had a lot of name? like scott Scott Spiegel. Yeah, Scott Yeah, I mean, it had I a almost lot of... said Scott Speedman, and that was not right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's different. Yeah, yeah, that's different. Well, I, I mean, it doesn't. I mean, to describe it, it doesn't have like the showy, um, like camera angles of like uh, Sam angles, Raimi or Dario movement. Argento, but it's like the movement mm-hmm. is like kinetic. I guess yes. maybe that's what they're going for. He's punching up the speed of this movie. 
by doing all this uh, uh, camera work. Yes. The alien starts killing because we do folks. take the POV of the alien. At yeah. Certain points at some point, um, the Brazilian girl who oh, yeah. was out and she was going to be skinny dipping. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, she ends up running away and, and clocks herself. She runs into a tree, straight into a tree, and knocks herself out <laughs> yeah. for the next fifty minutes. <laughs> like we don't see her in this movie for a while. After yeah, she knocks herself out. But the funny thing, like the alien, <laughs> from his point of view, like fleeing that scene, ends up going through the yard and gets raked, right? He, it's one of those things where you step on the rake and it comes up and hits you yeah. and like there's it, a blinding flash it, of light. It, yeah, it's beautiful. It's the a sideshow it's a, Bob rake. It's too. A, right. It's yeah. a running joke. Yeah. I mean, it's the rake you step on and hits you in the head. Yeah. You know? But it's a running joke for a few characters and even for the monster later on. Yeah, because he comes back and he's like, you because know, he's that, looking right, at the, the POV of the monster running towards the house. He runs past the rake. The camera looks at the rake and growls at yeah. it because the monster's mad yeah. that the rake hit it. That was funny. And then Fucking funny. this monster drops this rake in random locations, <laughs> hoping someone else will get hit with the rake. That's what like he weaponizes doing. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great. And he's got, yeah, he's got the two little tentacle arms. He's always seeming to re- uh, um, reach out and grab people with uh, yeah. through doorways and. He's always tripping people and all this I other stuff. I imagine Fira Michaela has one foot on one and one foot on the other. He's just riding <laughs> <Yeah. his head laughs> through the woods. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. There's, uh, I could tame it. <laughs> as night falls on or the house. Hit me with the laser eyes. <laughs> well, yeah, because eventually there's laser eyes. Uh, oh, my God. But as night falls on the house, like everybody pairs off and there's all sorts of sex scenes going on. Yes. Um, Gotta love the sexiness. Mm, That's- so, and these ones were not. Oh. No. Great. Some I mean, of there was were... too many hairy butts for for my taste. I, that wasn't my focus, but <laughs> oh, everyone but pointed I, it out. Yeah, I, I, we well, talked okay, about it. Okay, but it, yeah. it's when it's when you can't help but notice yes, it. Yes, yeah. But it's, every Jesus. every point of action in this is interrupted. Yeah. yeah, every single one. Yeah, for something. Yeah. Was it well, what in, interrupted uh, Doreen and her boyfriend? You remember? Well, wh- they had many, because they were on the couch, then they decided to go to the lake to skinny dip again in the middle of the night in a very cold lake. Okay. Yeah. No, that wasn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they came back, and-, and then they were, yeah, because they thought they saw something in the lake. She's yeah. thinking, bears, right? Mm-hmm. Sharks, yeah, what have you. Mm-hmm. So they come back, and then they go upstairs, and then I think they see the little green thing again. She sees it, and then. Um, no, they don't go upstairs. They're in front of the fire. Oh, yeah. They are in the fire. Yeah. Because doesn't, what's his name? The main dude who's, I'm going to call him Frank, but that's not Mike. Mike. Mike oh, comes. Mike's the main guy. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. Mike is convinced that there's an alien running around now, right? Mm-hmm. So yes. he's all decked out. He's protecting he the had, house. Well, at the, yeah, he's protecting the house. He's also uh, boarding up doors and everything. Like he's moving furniture to protect himself. Like yeah. I don't think he's, this is just off intuition because I don't think he's seen anything yet that, no. would, mm-hmm. that would warrant this. He's seen the movies. He's seen the movie. Yeah. And so he's protecting the house and he dresses like a hockey player. Well, I think it's a good thing he brought his camouflage pants. Mm-hmm. Right? right. He's all set. It really is. Um, I really got a moment of um, uh, Friday the 13th Part 6, I believe. You know, when they're in the woods playing mm-hmm. paintball and mm-hmm. when they first show up, there's that music. I swear to God, I thought I heard the, like that. Yeah, like yep. it is an army march too. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. comes up, mm-hmm. which is that was pretty funny. The score is a synth, synth score, and it's very aggressive. I it mean, is. like it's another high energy component to the movie. And there's a lot. Oh, yeah, oh. I, I liked it. I thought it worked. I, did, I thought it worked for this movie. Yeah. Um. Well, okay. So, uh, the the cast. Oh, well, they they all get naked. And then uh, eventually, uh, one by one, they all get naked. Um, Bonnie Bowers was not too fond of getting naked for this movie. She, apparently, she made um, this movie a, a, a whole big thing to shoot. Like, she was not everyone's favorite person. But who is Bonnie Bowers? Bonnie Which Bowers one? is um, what's her name? Stacey? The the main girl, the bikini one. Yes, the bikini one. Which oh, okay. uh, so there which was, was drama point. on this set. Yes. Wow. Well, because I was wondering about that because it was a scene. But when, considering she's the one running around in a bikini for the last half of the movie, mm-hmm. I kind of understand. And she's wet, like yeah. you can like, tell. I can understand how it wouldn't be comfortable for her for mm-hmm. that part. Yeah, of the Yeah, she but. is in a bikini for the the entire movie. Yes. There was a point when she went down to the lake where I was like, "Was this a moment where the director was like, well, you can?' You, it was either called for to be skinny dipping, or she said, "I don't want to," or it was an option, and mm-hmm. she went for. The, the bikini then she ends up in the bikini for like the rest of the movie she does she she agreed to the nude scene before the movie like lockdown totally was good for it um when it but came even time in that, for it, she had to be 
yeah. talked into it, and then she did not. It was uh, from the from behind. Basically, she goes and lays. Uh, right. There is, I mean, the there bed. is a full riding scene a little bit later. Oh, on. that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So she, I mean, she committed to it. No, you know. This is a 20 year old guy. Like, you know, how convincing these people. Right. right. Wow. So, like, There's got to be convincing these people his parents' age. To, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know. I mean, these are like, I but mean, I, it, but I think those people have a, uh, he obviously had a future in, in film for mm, something. Right. So uh, he, he used that talent to make Emmanuel movies for mm-hmm. the, you know, the rest of his life <laughs> and what have you. So. There's yeah. something to it. Some bravo votes, sir. Because, I mean, I guess that also made the movie, like, never boring. I mean, right. you know, um, the uh, monster continues to slurp around in the darkness. Uh, <laughs> slurp around. And, 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 and pick Have people up. Have you ever up. slurped around in the darkness? Well, you're going to. <laughs> We do. It does have, uh, yeah, because at some point it does uh, start shooting lasers out of its eyes. Right. And we it, get suddenly, there. Yeah. Uh, oh. Where are we at? I don't know. The, uh, it's it's man. There's Mahomet so many. There's ever, a lot that's goes. There's a lot of back and forth of in the house, yeah. out of the house, back yeah. to the pond. Well, there the was there, there is, was one yes. guy, uh, and I believe that was Doreen, the blonde. It was her boyfriend that um, I think it was he. She ends up getting lasered. She right? does get lasered, which is like we're like, what the hell just happened? All of a sudden, because that was a whole lasered. new thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, introduced into the movie Brand is lasers powers. out of the she eyes. She gets shot in the eyes with the lasers and collapses. And Stacy, the other girl, somehow puts her arm up in front of her eyes and fends off the laser, but they bounce off her arm. And I, so we and we are one step above her blocking it with her boobs, like blocking. <laughs> the laser. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, We're one step above that. Hard ticket to Hawaii would have done that. Uh, uh, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Doreen suffers a headache after this uh, thing, and then she goes to lie down. And when the boyfriend comes in to check on her the next day, uh, all of a sudden, that was actually an effective scene. Oven mitts. Yeah, it got me. Explode like, out of the middle of the bed and like yeah. grab him, and then uh, attach to his face and you know bring him up the wall and all this other stuff, and then. His face like melts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I mean, do, do we discuss the fight between Mike and oh him Jesus? Beforehand? Yeah, we have to. There was, a, there was a whole thing where um, obviously nobody believes Mike for most of the movie, mm-hmm. and so he's just being a real pain in the ass to yeah. everyone here. And I, so I'm when gonna... they're yeah when they're engaging in the in front of the fire, yes, he and the monster show up at the same time. Yes. So this he is... thinks that he's. The reason Coitus they, interrupt yeah. us. They think it's Mike and not the monster. That's even what though, we were going for earlier. That's what right, happened. Even yeah. though Doreen saw the monster at a certain mm-hmm. point. But yeah. then they get into like a fight, which is, I think... The showpiece moment yeah. of the movie? It, if not the showpiece moment of the movie, it is it is a showpiece moment. Because it, it's funny to me, their back and forth in this. Because it's, <laughs> it's an action scene. Like yeah. We got yeah, guys jumping that. way too high over other guys. There's yeah. a fairly impressive leap through the air. Yes. The, and there's The cart... That was great. The, the cart. That w- <laughs> they end up on this like serving it's cart, those, both ah, of them, yeah. and the, the ah. cart's rolling through the house, and the one guy rolls off onto the countertop. The cart with uh, the Jim, uh, Jim ends up like careening toward the stairs that lead out of the place, but stop. And he's able to get off, and then there's a fight between them, and then he ends up tumbling down the stairs. It was like, oh. what are we doing here? It's like, this is... Well, he comes like, back up the stairs a second like, later. son of a bitch! And they have their sliding door fight. Oh, yeah. The yeah. sliding door fight. <laughs> yeah. The test of strength. Yeah. <laughs> Two people trying, one person trying to pull it open, the other person trying to close it, you know? I yeah. saw an alien! Yeah. Like, yeah. And the other guy's like, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> I want to see Stallone and Schwarzenegger do this. I kinda, and the door yeah. just like shatters between both of them. Like, right? it's just As like their muscles like, are bulging. Yeah. See, I was wondering <laughs> if because this was like a real location, if they were trying to, you know, because you're like, what if the guy wanted to get in the house, he could just break the it's a glass yeah. door. Right. Yeah. But were they trying to save it because it was like a real uh, house and so they came up with this like ridiculous. I don't know that basement looked pretty to... flooded. It, I'm, well, yeah, and, yeah, but it lends itself to the comedy of yeah. the movie, the overall tone, which I think works for it. Yeah, there is a flooded basement because I think Mike goes down they there. They lock Mike in the basement at a certain point because, because like you're being a fucking asshole with, and with all this horror vacation. movie stuff. Yeah. yeah, well, he is an annoying guy, I guess. True. You know, yeah, like because you annoying. pointed out, he answers True. every question with a question. Ugh. Ugh. I don't think you should lock anyone in the basement. A sarcastic question, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's so, very sarcastic. The basement's flooded because he's attacked by the creature. It ends up breaking a water main, so nobody yeah. has water the next day. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and the one guy's face melts off in a, a pretty impressive, I thought, looking uh, visual effect. It wasn't bad. Yeah. yeah except, uh, for, except for the wig. It was great. The, yeah. yeah. The, once curious, you pointed out the wig, I was like, oh. Oof. I'm curious what they made him out of. It's just wax and shit that they melted and all that, but it was interesting. On top of like a uh, ceramic or whatever Drawn clay. Uh, I don't you know, know what it was made of. Or something like that. It was pretty decent. I, I enjoyed it. Um, so then, uh, I guess it's Stacy and Mike end up like running around the house for the duration of the movie. Everybody else is pretty much dead or incapacitated. Um, Doreen Nick has gone into the city to get the plumber mm-hmm. with the only car. So he's gone for a That's little That's the bit. guy who owns the house. It's yes. his parents that own the house. Yeah. Um, and so well, then we find out that, um, uh, cause there's a scene where the monster tries to attack, um, Stacy but like the camera angles are very provocative and it's like the oh. camera angles in this entire movie are provocative when they're showing a woman running from one area to back into the house they don't focus on a full shot of the entire woman it is mostly just we're going to focus on this specific area <laughs> <laughs> the ass yeah. boobs like, yeah. this is what sometimes i on. wonder if that is like a byproduct of like an open mat frame. I wonder where the, they were all in frame when right. you know from head to toe. I do wonder. And yes. then when we when we mm. put it in sixteen by nine, it's like you lose the time. But I, I don't know. I mean, because <laughs> it just happens, happens to work out. It happens to work in the, the tone of the movie. To be like, yeah. 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 Uh, they all looked at it and they went. That worked. <laughs> Works for the movie. Um. So let me see if I remember what happens here. The um, Mike was in the bed. And they, yeah, well, they all retreat down there because Doreen has become possessed. This is the next thing that we find out. It's like the alien by zapping you uh, possesses you because uh, the scene in question was the alien is trying to mate with Stacy. Yes, he has saved a couple of the uh, the women. Uh, Other people were slimed and melted or eaten or what have you. Uh, And they're trying to figure out why, well, why were the women left and not slimed and eaten? Well, duh, for mating. Yeah, Obviously. like humanoids from the deep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So then we're like, we're gonna have alien babies in this movie at some point. Oh, that's the sequel. Yeah, there's also a cat. There, ah, there is a cat. There is. There's a point. Movie. Okay, do I get a point for me? That uh, the cat the, you get die? one to your uh, what thirty? Yeah. Okay, yes. as yeah. long as I get the point, if I get points taken away for the cat dying, I should get a point. For them being <laughs> fine. I mean, you're still in the in the negative. That's fine. But, I know. just want to add it to the plus side. Yeah, you get a point. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, the cat uh, we think is in danger because it's a cat in a horror and movie. Because the and because a cat throws it at the monster. Well, I was like, first of all, I'm already concerned about this cat because this is his family's vacation house. That's what I'm saying. Why is there a cat at a vacation house? Yeah. Well, I mean, not every uh, cat, just because they're, you know, calm and indoors and everything, doesn't mean they don't live within the wilderness that is Right, but them. people don't live here full time. Yeah, so, yeah, like, so he yeah. hunts. He eats a mouse. But he was we inside. Saw yeah. He, he has a way to in and out. The, he, there's a cat door? Yes. We're just assuming well, there's a cat door. But yes. the introduction to this cat is like, it's a cat scare <laughs> moment. They're in the basement. All of a sudden, this cat like drops from the se- literally yes. the middle of the frame. And it is described very well by Mike. I Mike's like, what? That. There's just cats He's like, like falling from the- cats just hanging around with their claws on the ceiling, waiting for someone to drop by underneath them. So He's like, there's no down. hole up there. Where'd the cat yeah. come from? He's asking the right questions at certain moments, yes. At one point, somebody asks him about like all of his uh, horror movie knowledge, and he says something to the effect of, like, you know, that we... Or no, uh, she asks him, like, what, do you think we're in a movie? Or, like, this isn't real, you know, like this. And uh, he looks at the camera. He doesn't then, look at the camera. He, I thought he was he looking at the, look camera. the camera. No. He looked. No, he looks at her, and he's like, it's a possibility. He okay. does not look at the camera. Saw him look right no, at me. the only moment, and we'll discuss it later. There's okay. only one moment that breaks. <laughs> no, I I, get, I agree with Sean. I think at one point he looks up, he th- and then he, looks at her. Yes, but he I don't think he looks it. directly no, at the camera. Not directly. I don't think he does. All right, I should take my cue from Sean here, and after we're done, go back and rewatch yes, the and entire then set, movie. And then send the video clip to later. us. Yes. We did rent it, so you have some time. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it doesn't matter because we get a very obvious break the fourth wall moment later, later on. on it's yes. the so. greatest thing it's ever. the greatest thing ever <laughs> and the fact that it's the only time it happens which good yeah that's well <laughs> the inspiration for this right like this is the most inspired moment because you haven't seen this i don't think in any other movie ever right and you're like so the whole way through the movie right uh you're noticing a, a cameraman's feet. In we some saw that shot. once. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of boom mic 
shadows on the wall. I disagree. A couple of times, there were several times I saw like the lines moving in reflections. I could see sure. people moving. Uh, there's a boom mic, I think, drops into the frame. Uh, well, it's the shadow. I don't okay. actually, okay. I didn't actually see the mic. I saw the shadow. Okay. And then there's a scene when um, I am defending this movie. Like, no, you're wrong. Nick returns. Wait, you're saying this has never been done? I have never seen Mel Brooks this. did this. If did nothing he? else, a naked yes. gun movie had to have done Mel this. Mel Brooks did this. Blazing Saddles did this. Yeah, there, there has yeah. been a uh, this exact scene. Not the exact no, but scene, a version but I mean, like, of it. Like there is. Seen, oh, that's like what I'm seen saying. Boom mics. We've seen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I know. I've seen. I think Colin's talking about how the boom. How mic it's used. done. How yeah. it's yeah. used yeah. and where we end up. Because even For Black sure. Dynamite has a good scene where like the mic keeps coming down and he's trying to talk while the mic's yeah. hitting him in the yeah. face. Yeah. Like, we've so seen this it is stuff a, before, it is a joke, but again, this particular moment, no. We've well, because, back in 1991. And yeah, because that's what I'm saying. The inspiration for it was like, what? Like, were they watching the dailies? And they're like, we can see the boom mic there. We can see the boom mic there. Well, why don't we just incorporate it into the... The character of Nick comes back, right? Right. From and, going to get for the plumbing. And he right. goes into the house and he's uh, the alien thing's running around. And this in is after one, he throws the cat at the alien thing. And he's trying to figure out a way to get out of the house. He throws the cat at the alien thing, like in a heartless move to defend himself. Yeah, really he's going to sacrifice cat that cat. Cat gets away. <laughs> cat God. lands in front of the puppet Plus and runs. Yep. And we're like, okay, yeah, there so you go. So like, oh no, cat what lives. else can I do? So he gets up on a chair and goes up, but he goes up very far and in the front, like right there, the boom mic. Yeah. And so he sees it. <laughs> and swings out he of the monkey house. bars on yeah. the on the boom mic. Yeah. yeah, and we to like the Indiana Jones theme. Yeah. Which is dun, 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 dun. Yes, it is a very heroic <laughs> thing to do, and yeah. we're and we're just in shock at this point. But also the people on the outside are like, "Where's Nick?" And he just he falls into frame on yes. his ass. It is cut. It's cut together very well. That actor I, did not know he was going to fall that hard. You could tell, like hard. he fell hard like, on that's his butt. What makes yeah, it so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you expect him to come in, but he's like, boom. It almost makes me think he like overshot a mattress or something. Right. You know, <laughs> like, I think yeah. that's a great part yeah. of the joke. It's like he swung a little too hard. Yeah. To get, first of all, he swings, but he's also probably swinging like twenty feet. Yeah. Out exactly. through the house to land on outside. It is cut together so well. Yeah. I'm very. I'm, I'm surprised at it. But also maybe not surprised because I think I mean, obviously Rolf uh, shows promise. In yeah, these things. I mean because it it felt to me like it was a moment that wasn't like any original script. It was I, something that right. they came up with as they were we shooting. We need to get him outside, and was just like this is ridiculous, <laughs> you know. But it's the only moment that goes that far. Yeah, which I'm glad they don't repeat it or go that far again. And stuff, yeah, because it, it really has. It was an surprising, impact. and it was like, oh wow, that's pretty fucking yeah, clever. It's, it's alien growling at the rake, and then this. <laughs> scene. Well, I think somewhere in there, Mike has determined that uh, this alien is maybe not the sharpest tack in the in the box. In the crayon right? box, yeah. Because uh, the it knocked itself out. I think several times in but, fighting with Mike. It, it, it like Mike had a hammer in his hand, and he coiled around it and was trying to. Get Mike, and he ended up smacking himself. Another one of those point of view things that ends with a flash frame. It does, which is what you see when you like (laughs) hit yourself in the face. (laughs) Yeah, so he does Um, that again. He raked himself earlier. Not the smartest alien in the world. So he says, "Well, this is how we're going to kill it. We're going to confuse it and have it knock itself out enough that is that the plan? And that's and then we're going to hit it with an axe. That is yes. That is (laughs) we're going to have we're going to have the alien confuse itself. But that is as far as it goes." That is as far as it's explained to us. The I audience. watched this whole scene and could not figure out what I the plan didn't know was. either. Yeah. I know they're like, oh, we need, m- we need mirrors, light bulbs, and flashlights. No, not just light bulbs. Every light bulb in the house. Every, yeah. And there are drawers of them, apparently. I was waiting for them to open up a drawer of mirrors. Uh, yeah. But it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Considering they open up drawers of light bulbs, I'm like, okay, where's the mirror drawer? Yeah. Because yeah, they grabbed a lot of them. He doesn't tell the, the other people in the cat. It's like, we got to do it right now, and I know what the plan is, and so just get all this stuff and. You know, this is what we need. And so they go scavenger hunting through the house. There's a funny scene where she's trying to unscrew like a tiny. <laughs> we like, need all the light bulbs. Yeah. Light bulb. Tiny light bulb, which I appreciate it because he, he leans into the light. <laughs> But, <laughs> what really? the hell but, are you yeah. doing? So the light, the purpose of the light bulbs is just to throw them on the floor. Apparently, that's it. That's yep. it. Yeah. I yeah. thought it, it was for light. Anything. That's yeah. It. yeah, I don't get the whole drawer it. of silverware and throw it. You right. know, throw yeah. it work on the floor. Yeah, exactly. Why does it, it need makes to be noise. light bulbs? Who cares? Yes. Yep. I are just, they trying? Are they hoping just because it's glass that it will somehow? help to incapacitate the monster we don't know because nothing is explained to us but this besides. girl's in bikini and probably doesn't have shoes on she's throwing glass all I mean, over we the get floor a scene it's where like, she Jesus. runs yeah. into the yeah. glass yeah. at a certain point 
Mm. Oh, that's right, because uh, our cast does get whittled away. We as, have three uh, left. Yeah. Well, because um, the one girl who got possessed, Doreen, Doreen yeah. she ends up attacking uh, the others and yep. launches herself through a window, and then the, the glass sliding window uh-huh. pane comes down and beheads her. <laughs> mm-hmm. It does. Mm-hmm. Um, about that. She gets ghost. And then the uh, Brazilian girl, <laughs> 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 the Brazilian girl who we thought was, like, dead, Oh, yeah, she shows up 40 yes. minutes later. And she ends up getting attacked by the thing that's trying to impregnate her. And I think a it's... A possessed Doreen hits her with a bat in the head. And kills yeah. her. Kills her. Apparently. She's, she's getting hits in the head a lot. Yeah. Between the tree and the bat, she's done. Mm-hmm. So it's like most... Of, I mean, like, that's... I think we're down to three people yep. in the cast, right? There's uh, Stacy... Stacy, uh, Nick, and Mike. And they're the only people left. And they're like, okay, we're going to go for the car. This is before they come up with this amazing plan. There's also a plumber. Let's not forget oh, that. that's right. Yeah. Yeah. The plumber. Well, I, I like the, the car scene because they, they take the car and they're like, OK, we're finally going to get out of here. But of course, the <laughs> alien like uh, attaches itself to the car and is like, you know, uh, shooting its lasers through the windshield. Yes. And there's a payoff of Chekhov's uh, sunglasses, sunglasses uh, mirrored sunglasses. These are the other thing in the world I've ever seen. And they they bounce the lasers off, but this car also goes uh, eventually <laughs> launching itself into not this car. That car doesn't. Not yeah. that car. No, because it turns from a very small compact car into a giant Buick that yeah. launches itself. The yeah. only commonality they have is that it's white. Yep, into the pond and begins. And so we're to back sink. in the pond. We end up in the pond a lot. Yep. So everybody's got to crawl well, out of the wasn't pond. Sick. After uh, the plumber he shows up and like, what the fuck are you guys doing? And then he gets killed by yeah, he the. He gets eaten, blood eaten up by the. There's also um, some the way that you deter this alien is you fill its mouth full of shaving cream. Yeah. yeah and then eventually just anywhere on the thing, just shaving cream. Yeah. They yeah, it like use like it to cover cream. the doorknob so it won't. It won't eat it. Why? Why this was a thing introduced in the first place, I don't know because. The only way this comes into the story is that Mike is being attacked by the monster. He knows it's on the other side of the door. He just grabs Barbasol, the shaving cream, mm-hmm. and shoots it through the, the keyhole, mm-hmm. and and it runs away. And that's it. And now it's a now, mouthful of it. Right. And now it's a weakness for the monster. So the right. joke is, he hates having a mouthful of shaving cream like everybody does. That is the joke. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> but Okay. <laughs> Yep. So that becomes the rest of the movie. He's spraying it all over the floor. He's yep. spraying, spraying it on the items where he doesn't want the alien to uh, to eat. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they got all these mirrors and they shine flashlights into them and they're trying to, like a cat, attract the alien when they go back to the house after they ended up in the, in the right, pond. Right, yeah, and so there's that whole plan. And so the alien's sneaking through on the floor. He comes up to Nick, who's not moving or doesn't have a light on and everything. And then he gets drawn away from that, and then he moves over to where does where does the monster go after that? After he passes Nick, yeah, because it's more light bulbs. He, then I think he attacks Stacy. Yeah, and then he's able to uh, ray gun her eyes yes. and take her over, so she starts attacking. Right, but then he eventually the mirror thing ends up being like a Jurassic Park thing with the raptors, where he sees his reflection or he sees the reflection of Nick, and then goes after it and launches himself through a mirror into an oven. Which has been prepared, all the gas is on, which yeah. seems unsafe, but okay. Seems unsafe to do it that do. early, yeah. Yeah. based and on what they were doing. this predated okay. Jurassic Park? It did. So. This predates mm-hmm. a lot of stuff. Predates yeah. Scream, predates also, Jurassic Park. Also, that's not how ovens work. He turned the burners on on the stove. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 He turned all the knobs yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. he's like, if I turn every knob, it'll be that's fine. That's not how yeah. it works. Yeah. Uh, well, that whole it, house should well, be. Yeah. I was like, you're putting Gasoline, yourself yeah. all in danger yep. right yes. now. <laughs> you're all going to pass out and then blow up. Yep. But the alien ends up in the oven and uh, so lights they are, on fire. Yeah, well, so they are fighting an alien trying to get himself out of an oven. They are fighting Doreen. Oh, no, not Doreen at this point. Stacy, who has been possessed as well, who's who's crushing Nick's balls. While also trying to kill him with a knife. Yeah. Um, then eventually, I think the alien explodes in a big yeah. firework, and everyone it has fireworky. Uh, uh, it's got its blood explosions. is uh, gasoline. Yeah, there you go. Okay, well that makes sense. Well, like the alien was acid. This one's okay. Yeah, there you go. I mean, why not? They power their own ships with their bodies. Yeah. Uh, and so he he blows up, and then we're like, oh my god, the alien menace has been stopped. <laughs> Indeed. There's a joke at the end that uh, there's a whole thing about. Well, so they get they finally get into the uh, the plumber's van 
mm-hmm. which they crashed into earlier because yep. everyone's an idiot and just yep. doesn't know how to drive. They could have just taken that instead of running back in the house. Yeah, okay. They were, yep. they, okay, they were panicked at that point, so they had to go into the house. For the, what do we do now? Go back to the house. The yeah. van, go which back is, to the house and lock yourself and uh, board up the windows in dumb, a flooded in basement. The, in the flood of a dumb idea. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. Um, uh, they eventually end up, after all the explosions, in the plumber's van, which does have the carpenter font on the side of it. Mm-hmm. The John Carpenter font. Yep. Yes. Saying, yep. Yeah, that you've seen almost. And they eventually decide, uh, the three of them, to drive away, but they run into someone. Who do they run into, Holly? Sally. Sally. Who Sally is, Forrester. Who's it? Mm-hmm. Sally. Uh, the girl from the beginning of the movie. She's that still has alive? About the video She's store. Still alive. Still there alive. you go. She's I like that she came back. I do, I do too. Was. It's kind of a great thing. And then they pick her up because they've learned nothing throughout their entire mm-hmm. thing. Uh, they pick her up, and then they're all of a sudden very um, uh, concerned, concerned, yeah. paranoid yep. about who she who she yeah. may be. Mike's looking at her like, "You have green eyes." And they fucking. <laughs> She's like, "I've always stop. had green eyes since I was a baby." Yeah, stop. Open the door. Well, because she said they're like, "Well, how do you feel?" And she's like, "Well, I got a headache and my stomach really hurts." And they're like, "Oh shit!" Mm-hmm. Yeah, Stacey's like, "We have no evidence. Like, we don't need it." Yeah, he's it's like, not, you had any it's not because she was. Lately? Yeah, it's not because she was in a car accident and then has been wandering through the woods for three days. For a day, yeah, yeah. for at yeah. least a day. So they're like, damn it, we're gonna get alien babies in this movie. She's gonna give birth in the back of the. No, they kick her out. They just like mm-hmm. better safe than sorry. Leave her on the side of the road and drive off. Yep. Yeah, to credits. Uh, uh, like, they kick it. out a different woman with longer yeah. hair. Uh, yeah. <laughs> kick out a woman. Most likely, very Doreen. Clearly, not the same woman. Because <laughs> Doreen had that. Longer, she had the longer blonde hair. hair. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah the Dom loves the the great eighties hair. Yep. Um, and credits. And that's the end credits. And, and credits. Great credits. The credits. Yeah, I missed this. The credits tell I had to a pee, story so. unto themselves. Anyone who <laughs> left during the credits, go back and watch them. You get updates on the the animals in this movie. That's right. The, the cat was not harmed. Cat and, was not harmed, and also lives with people in the cast. So yep. is the rat oh, who lives with Bonnie that. Bowers. There's a bush wrangler. <laughs> <laughs> There's a rake wrangler. A snake wrangler. No, it was. Uh, there was a, uh, something. Was there a snake in the movie? No. no, but I think it was to like keep snakes away. Maybe. Oh, it was maybe. In the See, credits. this is that water. Uh, you know what I'm <laughs> water dude, water snakes. You don't fuck around with no. those. Yeah, those are those. bad. Yeah. No, I used to visit my grandparents in Florida, and every other day we'd hear gunshots of people shooting water moccasins. Dude, they're in this <laughs> the area. They're, oh, they're fucking ugh. all yeah. over. That's oh, the problem is that they're like everywhere. They're no <laughs> joke. They're no joke. Yeah. Credits are a uh, uh, film unto their own. I recommend you stay for yeah, them if you watch this movie. At the uh, the thank yous and all that. The thank yous are great. Is it, that told a little, well, I don't know about a story, but it was like thank you to the fourth grade teacher. Yeah, thank they you thank to- fourth grade teachers. They thank family. It was, it's, it's something else. I yeah. would recommend watching the credits. It's a, that was a good time. Um, okay, are we missing anything as far as, like, I went, I think we got, like, all the gory deaths and I the... I think we got the oh. essential... Well, we didn't... Re- uh, the nerd, I, for, I, even, I forgot his At name. At the beginning. At the beginning, who dies. The fir- I think he's the first death via um, the monster. Yeah. He gets... Him and the Brazilian are walking in the woods, and he gets eaten up a bit. Yeah. And I then she runs one. into a tree. And he and the monster ran into the, sna- into the rake. Yeah. Okay, but I think that's it. I think we covered. I miss any good jokes. Yeah. Good jokes. Uh, no, we bad got jokes. Both of them. Memorable jokes. <laughs> I mean, there's we. I think we got it. There's a lot of jokes. Yeah, there's a lot of jokes. There's a lot. Of, I think we got it. Okay, I some of them are we, cut on time. Some of them aren't. Sure, oh, the fart joke, which is what? Well, oh. well, uh, well, there's it's a long drive up into the cabin. Uh, the Jim, I think his name is Jim. The Jim character is like, are we gonna stay in this car all day? Because I have to fart and then we cut to all four doors of the car opening but a little too long yeah, like they need to long. cut a little too yeah but it's the first movie <laughs> it is 20 so. year old director yeah and his father's editing apparently so <laughs> other than that i think we got everything in there's nothing out there oh. sorry uh uh fox Mulder and dana scully <laughs> And this was unplanned. Yeah. Un- okay. Unplanned. The truth is out there. You Again, were just like, met. yeah, there's nothing out there. Okay. No, there's nothing out there. <laughs> not even the truth. Not, not in this movie. There's no truth. All right. Well, I guess uh, then we thank you for sticking with us. But what we're going to do is we're going to go around the table and tell you whether or not you should watch this movie. Um, but first, we're going to answer some of your mail. In order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name is Igor. Bring us the mail. 
Masters! Masters, the mail! I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising. Rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Watch out for his eye lasers! <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't want to get... I mean, I don't really know what the lasers he do, goes, but... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's it's not a common occurrence, but I feel uh, Igor goes into heat every now and again and just starts shooting eye lasers. So okay, be careful. <laughs> yeah. Yes. If you see a gr- uh, gl- uh, green glowing, run away. Don't look at it. Mm-hmm. You it go. won't do anything right now, but you'll be more prone. In to nine months. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Like a Dr. Manhattan works. situation, y'all get cancer later. Yeah, yeah you'll mm-hmm. get cataracts yeah. at some yeah. point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was right, I'm suddenly reminded of the credits of this movie, too. They were like a Doctor Who tunnel with like random oh, yeah, the uh, yeah. lines yeah, yeah, yeah. from the cast. It was, it was like a tunnel where they were like just random voiceovers from the movie. Yes. I thought yes. maybe they were like those were lines spoken by that character, but it went on too long. Yeah, it was like everybody. Yeah. yeah, it was like a sample of their lines. Well, it was uh, Doctor Who credits tunnel. Mm-hmm. Really yeah, because yeah, that's yeah. what this music yeah. was kind of telling yeah, us. Still a little more motion sicknessy. Yeah. 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 yeah, there was a, a few, yeah. Yeah, a few parts. I got a little dizzy. Like, <laughs> dizziness. Well, we should tell the good folks at home how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Or you can email us. Saturday Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. About tonight's movie, there's nothing out there. <laughs> Dom Cree writes in and says, is there any hot 80s hair in this? If not, pass. There's enough for you, Dom. There's, yeah, close I think enough. you'll enjoy it. It does look like I, 1981, not yeah, 1991. I, like, I don't, yeah, I don't it, really know what hot 80s hair is, but sure. I think you'll enjoy the sure. blonde. Yeah, Doreen. Doreen's got that hot Doreen, 80s hair. Doreen. Uh, it's got a lot Stacey's of uh, product. has got the shorter it. version uh, of it's all, all that wet. with the slicked back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Novato Judoka says, uh, the 90s stink was ever so strong in this movie. I appreciate the effort in this, even if no one could act their way out of a paper bag, but I just came off watching Food Fight right before I watched this, and anything would look like a masterpiece in comparison. Food I mean, Fight? Oof. No, I haven't seen that. Don't know it food sounds fight. not don't great. Food fight. No. Uh, Steve Carney writes in and says, oh my god, yes, this was one of the first <laughs> Blu-rays I bought from Vinegar Syndrome. It's such a fun movie. I love the Indiana You're Jones. you a gold mine. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, I know. Buy now we know $30. how much it's worth. Yeah. He says, I love the Indiana Jones boom mic swing and the yeah. exchange of dialogue. <laughs> is this the camp by the lake? No, this is the house by the pond. It cracks me up. Yes. It's also fun to see how many VHS horror movie covers and posters you can spot in the opening scene in the video store. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were That's trying great. to name yeah, them off indeed. as we yeah. saw them. Um, last week, we watched a movie called The X-Files. Oh, yeah. Um, How'd that go? So not a lot of comments on that one, but oh my god, on Twitter, uh, we're being followed by like every oh, X did every, files. Did every like, conspiracy yeah. theorist follow you? No, it's oh, like no. there's a Just rabid fan base uh, oh, for yeah. this stuff. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Dennis Peck says the X Files was my favorite show ever, at least the first seven seasons and the reboot. Seasons eight and nine are kind of rough. Uh, Travis Legler says after hearing your episode on the X Files, I wasn't feeling a desire to rewatch the movie. But I did go to iTunes and buy the episode of the Bruce Campbell season six, episode seven, in case you were wondering. And it's really good. But who needs mm. an excuse to spend money on anything with Bruce Campbell? I'm still trying to get a copy of the Hallmark movie, My Southern Family Christmas, because of him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Um, Michael Whitaker says, in the same way that Holly thinks about the minutia of uh, the office side of the FBI in this movie, uh-huh. I can't help but think about when they were taking long plane rides between locations. And at a certain point... Mulder and Scully haven't have have to resort to fairly benign tasks. They're taking long hour flights but between dramatically tense scenes, and at some point Mulder cracked open the in-flight magazine because there was nothing else to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait. Oh my god, that's almost like an ASMR video, right? Like just right? just Fox, it just Were Fox Mulder and Dana Scully in a plane. Office things like, well, what do we? Well, what is the paper we, we have to put through before we take this? Flight? Yeah, I was thinking yeah. the snowcat. Specifically, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the rentals. Yeah, I was, Who signs I was off thinking, on it? it? Right, I was thinking about like part of my job is like I do the reallocations of like P card stuff. You know, people like travel. I do the receipts and stuff. So I was thinking about like poor Mulder's assistant trying to like figure out how do you how do you report <laughs> how, a how do we snowcat? itemize this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. snow cat that has to get to Antarctica. Yeah. How do I report well, an Antarctica the flight snow there, cat? Yeah, the how rental, do I do that? Yeah. Just like, is this in the budget? Right. Where yeah. clearly didn't yeah. have enough budget for gas right. either. What budget out. line is yeah. that from? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Novato Judoka writes in again and says the very first thing I noticed in this movie was also Lucas Black, the star of Tokyo Drift. He's in it as a young boy. He was also in Sling Blade and that Disney yep. TV movie Flash. 
And while this was everywhere in the 1990s, uh, I never watched the show. It was interesting to finally watch them do their thing. That Sculler, uh, mm-hmm. Sculler, Sculler, that, yep. that's, that's their shipper name. That's Sculler. Yeah. Uh, I wonder who would you Sculler. recast in the main roles? Mully. Mully. How is this? <laughs> Sculler, Sculler and Mully. Sculler and Mully. Uh, who would you recast if you were going to do the X Files? As uh, Mulder, David Duchovny, and, and Julian Anderson. You're right. That's. I like mean, just, you can. They no, if are we can the still, characters. If we can still cast them, yeah, we can't recast them. Yeah, I think they got to play that until so, they're dead. I, yeah. we got another, they I think we got another like ten years or something before we can like recast the X Files. I yeah. don't get the David Duchovny hype. I, I don't like. He's I, not he, been a big thing on my radar, so I don't. But, but, but he, like, even from like an attractive perspective, a lot of women find him really attractive, and for me, it's like it's nothing. I find him attractive. That's he's not, oh, <laughs> yeah, if nothing else, I think he's like base attractive. Like, he's, I recognize that he's attractive, but he does nothing for me. That's fine. Like, I understand that. Like, the math is there. He's got the jawline. Like, uh, <laughs> sure. the, 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 right. the, the equation works. Right. But the to angles, feel, right? like, oh, sure, yeah, yeah sure. the the Pythagorean theorem works on his jawline. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you understand that? Yes. Okay. The symmetrical face. It's there, <laughs> yeah. Uh, R&J Skrinky, Skrinky oh. says this was one of my dad's favorite movies. He loves this movie. And after David Duchovny left the show, it sucked. And I tuned out. Oh, yeah. We That's got Agent fair. Doggett. Fair. Yeah, which I like those episodes, actually. Annabeth Gish was the other. Ah. I forgot her name on last week's episode. Um, City Desk. Oh. writes in and says don't forget to mention that this is the 30th anniversary of the x-files yeah, nice wow. job. so there's cons and events that are planned throughout oh. the year just oh, google shit. it and you'll yeah. find out all right hashtag the shit of this on twitter so and i'm now see. doing my first real like honest watch of the x-files right now because we watched the movie nice. i'm almost at the end on of the, season the 30th one. anniversary yes. so there you go and then Very you can nice. go to and, all the cons okay so just a little <laughs> side thing. So I w- watched the episode Squeeze with the guy in the vents, right? And mm-hmm. they say he comes back every 30 years. And in that episode, they said, so he won't be back again until 2023. And I about <gasps> dr- like, fell out of my chair when I heard that. And I was like, why? And I'm watching this like in early 2023. Oh, that's right. Because so, he He's going to come back. Remember, yeah. He's yeah. going to come back Wait, and get five guy livers. The guy, squ- the guy, Victor Toombs, the guy that squeezes through the vents and eats livers. Uh, right. X- yeah. X-Files. Come on. Uh, we, need, we need a first movie. First season. Yeah. We need and a movie. the sequel. Toombs yeah. in the third or mm-hmm. second or third. Yes. Um. Bill Kennedy wants us to remember that Vince Gillian was also involved in the creation of the course. Of He's written a it, lot of the acclaimed episodes. Yeah. yeah. It, it, if you ever watch anything involving Breaking Bad, you always know it's like, X-Files uh, pro, mm-hmm. Vince Gilligan is not making this. So, yeah. Yes. But we were crediting Chris Carter. like so. I oh, mean, no. Chris Carter basically created, created the show, it, but yeah. I think... But there were a lot of showrunners. Lot of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Vince Gilligan. Um, the week before that, we watched a movie called Orphan First Kill. Mark Zidane uh, yeah. says... So I think I have an idea for the third chapter, Ooh. if it's ever made. By some sort of movie magic, Esther lives and is found and is found and out to a rehabilitation hospital to fix her neck. While she's there, she befriends a nurse who has lost her daughter to a murder. She convinces the nurse to adopt her and moves in, and Esther again pursues the husband. But this time she succeeds and sleeps with the husband. But to add to the twist this time, it's revealed that the husband is a secret pedophile and child killer who murdered his own daughter. So conflict between the two ensues throughout the movie. Eventually, Esther kills the husband and wife, but after, it's revealed that she's now pregnant. Oh, I'm in. Oh, my God. I am so in. Yeah, give as, me this movie. As long as she has a bent neck for the entire yeah. movie, yeah. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That's, that's solid, a, that's dude. Actually she's actually like, pretty that's good. solid. She's like, I love you. I, I want to love you. Better yet, make her like a paraplegic. And then oh, she's got... She's, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> I love how you said better yet. Yeah. And then I thought of the rest of that movie. Uh, I'm just like, oh. That, I don't know if that's better. Yeah. I'm I'm just, like, okay, but remember Monkey Shines and how much better that movie was? Because that guy was a quadriplegic. So I'm, I'm, just, right. saying, I'm just taking her legs from her. She's Michaela still got her arms. just wants... She's no. still got her arms. You oh, Oh, but don't even go there. Who just wants disabled <laughs> actors to get jobs. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's clearly her, where uh, I was going with that's, this. That's yeah. her motivation yeah, for this. Yeah. Huh? You win. <laughs> uh, well, Joey Blythe says, if you watch Significant Other, which we watched the week before on mm-hmm. Paramount Plus, Orphan First Kill automatically plays next. Although, <laughs> in our experience, it was uh, after Annihilation, Annihilation oh, yeah. came out. Um, yeah. um, but he says, I watched Orphan First Kill when it first came out, and it's so good, especially now since she's actually an adult playing a child. Oh, and the rule for iPhones that oh. he mentioned on the mailbag for the episode uh, is that the person using an iPhone can never be an antagonist. That must be an Apple thing. Oh, oh yeah. They have. They do have certain rules that if there That's are so characters weird. using their products, they can't, or at least they did, they can't be looked 
uh, I mean, they can't be looked can't be bad in a bad guys. light. That's really they can't stupid. Be bad guys. Yeah, I remember that was a. Th- I don't know if it's still a thing, but it was a thing. They know movies aren't real, right? Mm. Like they know they this don't. is like I don't think they a do. fabricated industry. No, they know no how, these are Apple people. I don't they know how that. subliminal marketing works. Yeah, yeah. They, they know they know yeah. the tricks, and they're just and like, then no. something like catches fire. That's what they're always afraid of. They're afraid that like you'll use it in your movie and no one will care. But that one where they do care, yeah, it'll Apple, become uh, a firestorm. Apple lop, laptop catches yeah. fire. And, no, know, I'm, not, the, I'm gonna yeah. say literally. Okay. Yeah, but like that, none of that happened in this movie. The the iPhone did not play into like the 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 events of Orphan at all. You right. know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, it's, Listen, they don't the, they don't know that when they sign like the. And in this movie, like, it was like 2009 or whatever, so it was like the old <laughs> school. Like I I'm pretty sure that was an iPod Touch that she. Maybe had. that's yeah. how they got away with it. I don't know. Uh, Pat Hetfield says, I'm in favor of the motion to refer to extraneous Sutherlands as a Netherlands. And I also <laughs> think the extraneous Sutherlands sh- would be a good name for a rock group featuring any of these people. Yeah, they should just own it. Yeah, I, we're I, saying I, that because uh, Rufus, oh, Kiefer's brothers in the movie. Chop it down to Otherlands, but uh, Otherlands. another. Well, okay, it depends on your reaction, right? Okay. Because if you find out there's more and you're like, a fuck another one, another then it's in another land. Uh, but right. if you're just like, huh. Didn't know that. Then it's a other lens. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think yeah. as a whole, yeah. discovery another lens. Mm-hmm. As a whole, yeah. other lens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you each and every one of you for writing in. You liven up the show every week yes, when we yeah, get to the mailbags. Love thank you very much. You. Yes, thanks for writing in. Uh, Woo! Now we're going to tell you what we, we saw in the movie. What uh, did you think? Yeah. Of there's, there's nothing, nothing out there. there. Yeah, I knew you were going to start with me. Yeah. Ah. I really didn't know how I was going to feel about this movie. It started out really strong, um, and some of it was really funny. Some of it was really strong, but I'm not sure it really cuts the mustard for me. Damn. I, it's so I close. I it's so close. Like, there's there's elements that I'm like, it, it's there. The potential's there. And like I said, there are there are moments that are really funny, but I don't think it's enough. It, it's, it's, it's a hard one to pin because I can't figure out exactly why it doesn't work for me because it should mm. but there's just something missing for me it's probably our collective 30 years from from this movie on <laughs> yeah. that is being like no and remember it is 30 years yeah it is but i mean we watch movies like this and we and i feel like they're on this level but i don't know for some reason this one isn't entertaining enough for me i know better I, better or worse than night beast i love night beast Oh, I think there's an equivalent here. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. I think I mean, Night Beast is better. I love Night Beast. Okay. I was just curious because yeah. it seems like that's where, yeah. yeah I know. That's like, why I'm like, I can't is. figure yeah. out why this is But also, like, we didn't like Blood Beat, you know, and that's, like, on the same level as this. Yeah. yeah. Like, sometimes I just can't figure out why mm-hmm. it's not at that level because I did really like Night Beast. And I would I would say that this is on the same level. So, I, yeah, it didn't do it for me. I feel like you could skip it and not miss anything. Um, but I do appreciate that he was only 20 when he made this. Right. And like, it's, there's some impressive parts and you have no I, curiosity to see mood boobs. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm good. <laughs> okay, okay, just checking. I, I feel like it would be like this movie in theory. It works. But once I saw it, I'd be like, well, this wasn't worth my time. Mm. Um, yeah, I can't recommend it. I, I don't think you're going to miss anything. Michaela, what'd you think? I uh I, I get what you're coming from because like there are there are some movies like no one I was the only one who liked Doom Asylum and like yes. that I feel like is on the same level yeah. as this movie yeah. too but n- nobody liked Doom Asylum True. except me so I um, all right in that yeah. regard I understand yeah what you're and like Blood Beat is a similar thing was Blood Beat horrible like yeah, it, was horrible. Okay. it was bad no, yeah I don't, I don't think it was boring it was very boring was a, didn't yeah. Blood Beat have the samurai yeah, yeah but okay the la- I, no that is I think that is on a very lower level but I uh, yeah. but this movie reminded me of it because there was laser shooting all out yeah. of nowhere and I was like oh god yeah. 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 Cabin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was a little worried when the lasers got introduced because I was like, God, blood there's even blue lightning me, a little later yeah. on. Mm-hmm. Give movie, me blood but. beat flashback. So, but <laughs> I think that this movie is what you come to the freak show for. I think Stephen Helicopter will be stoked because <laughs> this is like a boobalicious, like fucking Ooh, trashy movie. You know, it's, I mean, I enjoyed it. I had a good time with it. I feel like this is the type of movie you come to hear us talk about. Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, it, I was on the fence. I agree, Holly. It was certain. It felt long. It, it felt like a long, long movie for some yeah. reason. It felt longer than I thought it was. Too many yeah. trips to the pond. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, too, it, yeah. Too many trips to the pond and back and forth. Like, oh, let's go back to the house. Yeah. Oh, let's go here. And let's it's only a 90 minute movie. Like, it's not that long. Yeah. But it mm-hmm. felt long. <laughs> um, so I, that's a hit against it. But, I mean, Fallen Cloud, um, <laughs> you know, it, the the boom mic thing, like, it's <laughs> it's all 
great. I don't know what's happening in their plan to trap this thing. And I really am yeah. annoyed by that because it seems like they don't even know what the I plan is because they be won't explain big it. Problem with this movie. That scene is, is a their big problem. Ending mm-hmm. Yeah. A plan to get rid of the monster. Which, mm-hmm. to be fair, I have that same criticism, but a lot bigger movies, right? Sure. Like, I would even say, like, nope, as a movie. I can't believe I'm comparing these two. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> that is a movie that has, like, a reveal, and then when they have to reveal it and explain it, it kind of doesn't. You lose interest when the mystery is revealed. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, yeah. all like, I see is on the same level as a nope. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, that's all I see. I just, it's a. It's also some people would call it the Stephen King problem because like oh. he has this problem a lot too. But like when it when it's uh like what's causing this thing and then you find out what's causing this thing and it's like now how do we defeat it? And then like the problem I had with Nope is that there was a big like expo dump of how they were going to defeat it. And it's like yeah. well where'd you get this information from? And this movie did the opposite where they're like we know how to defeat it with zero information. Mm. And it's like I'm like uh, what? L- let us know. Yeah. Um, so, but I would think I would recommend it. It was a good time. It was ridiculous. Watch it with your friends. Do a midnight movie situation. I would love to see this at a drive-in. Be a great drive-in oh, be movie. Be a great drive-in. Um, and like, I feel like you could walk in on any scene in this movie and just be like, "What the fuck's happening?" <laughs> and the person who's still watching would be like, uh, "I'm not entirely sure either, man." You know. So I would recommend it. Colin, what do you think? Yeah, I think I'd recommend it too. I'm kind of surprised by that, but I mean, I don't think I. I mean, I don't think it was as good as Night Beast. I remember. Night Beast was something else. This, but this is <laughs> close. You know, there's a verve to it, right? I yes. mean, mm-hmm. that is really the thing that sells it. I mean, uh, it just has like an energy to it that I think that uh, only it, a young filmmaker yeah, can like yeah, put it's like into experimental something. and just like let's go for broke because it's like you know it's trying to be as entertaining as possible on a three hundred thousand dollar budget. Um, so he's just throwing everything. At the, you know, bikinis, boobs, gory things, and scaly frog-like monsters. But within a narrative. Oh, yeah, but this is like, you know, that's the acting. It's like, he. it seems like he was more concentrated on the technical aspect of it. Sure. Uh, than he was on actually <laughs> doing anything with the actors. Right, let the actors do their thing. Yeah, and just let them do it. And they're all terrible. But that adds to the entertainment level of it i mean it's goofy it's self-aware it knows that it's bad and they're like we're not even going to try on some of these aspects yes we're going to deliver on these other you know things that we actually can uh do and I, you know i don't know i mean i was carried away with it i wasn't bored during the movie and i was entertained by a lot of it because it was just like what the hell are we t- doing now so um yeah i would say i can't believe i'm saying this because it's a bad, you got to know, it's a bad movie. But what do we watch, Colin? It, 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 right. It is a Saturday night freak show movie. And I think maybe, Holly, that's the thing. It's been a while since we've been on a steady diet of these. Do you see, like, you know, where it falls on the, like, we've been through a bunch of bad ones. And then this would be a good one. But it's been a while since we've I, I was seen... bored watching this. Yeah? Damn. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. too many trips to the pond. Yeah. <laughs> well, there were a lot of you know women running around in bikinis, and that may have That's like that may have done it for me. You know, like right. I guess that I mean, there are other right. elements that doesn't, that doesn't have the same effect. Yeah, on right. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is yeah. very true. That does fulfill us yeah. more. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. So, uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. Sean, what do you think? Uh, I was fulfilled. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, no, I uh, uh, I had never seen this movie before. Um, I think I was looking on, there were some lists somewhere where it's like the 10 uh, best vinegar syndrome releases that you probably don't know about. And I'm, so I was looking through them and I was just like, I saw this and I was just like, that sounds interesting. I'll bring this to the show. <laughs> <laughs> in a hope that we would, because it sounded offbeat enough that in a hope we would get something good. I really, what I was the description? Oh, it's too long for you. Okay. To know. <laughs> the, the only thing that I'm like, I didn't. I almost came in with, like, this could be bad, guys. Like, this could be in a way that nobody enjoys this. So I was prepared for that tonight. I didn't know what we were going to get. Uh, I mean, I knew kind of the, the beats and everything, but I didn't know how it was going to play out. Um, I'm thankful it played out like this, because I uh, I was very entertained by this. Um, I think it gets into some um, moments. that you got. I think you got to look at it at two levels. I appreciate it, uh, appreciated it knowing that a 20 year old filmmaker made this movie. And I think that is a great, um, I think what he produced uh, is fantastic for a 20 year old. Um, uh, again, transitions in this movie. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, we, we go from steaming shower to steaming pasta. 
we go to twirling in the trees to an intro to the house. Um, I think there's a lot of really good elements to this. I love, I think it's, it's funny, but it's also not funny because Mike drags things on too long. His personality is a little overbearing, which I get that as well. Um, they do take way too many trips back and forth between house, pond, house, pond, and the, uh, ending, um, trap mechanism for the monster doesn't work, I don't think, but there's so much in there that uh, I, I can't help but be inspired by this movie. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes you can't believe you're saying that about a movie, yeah. but, yeah. My, but my God, there, there's just, I get it. There's, yeah. there's beats of unexpected humor that I, I did not think that this movie would give us um i mean i like the as cheap as it is and it's a cheap movie i like the monster um i like the uh i like how bad the actors are I, you know i think they're doing great in their badness throughout the movie um i, I think it's a fun movie um i want to watch it again uh mood boobs here i come i will find you uh i yeah i think you i think this is a this is a freak show movie and i think you i think you should definitely watch it i think you'll get Everything you should get out of a freak show movie in this movie. I had a lot of fun with it tonight. I had a lot of fun watching with you guys. I fucking Indiana Jones swing off a boom mic. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. fall outside. There's so much good stuff in this that's surprising. Um, and I love that. So, yeah, I'm going to recommend there's nothing out there. All right. Well, next Thanks week. Thanks a lot, Holly. <laughs> right. You know what? I'm not sorry. You're staying true to yourself. And we appreciate it. I don't that. disagree that it was a freak show movie. Yeah. There you go. It's absolutely a freak show. But movie. there it is. Yeah. All right. Well, next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... Speaking of which, Holly, <laughs> what are we going to watch next week? Uh, well, I feel like we're not venturing too far from this. Oh, oh no. Uh, we're going to watch Cellar Dweller. So there's, <laughs> oh. something, there's something in the cellar. <laughs> yep. There's nothing out there, but there's something in the cellar. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Troma yeah. to Full Moon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have familiar with this. I, this. I know the name. I don't think I've seen it. All right. Well... <laughs> That's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We're going to go down in the cellar and see what dwells in the cellar, the cellar dweller. All what right. dwells in the cellar? <laughs> All right. I don't even know. Well, thank you for listening. And the until next time, boys and ghouls, the basement is going dark.